at getting a divorce is it over for them um y'all already know i got my nigga to make it here so we can speak about the whole situation you dig what i'm saying we only got a few seconds to say this spiel so i'm gonna go ahead and say this leave him alone that's bullying and that's so period and i'm petty <laughs> I do too much. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Royalty. Uh, what? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Now, y'all know how I got in the building. That's right. Tootie two. Two in the building. Two. In the building. High in her head. Let me put make this thing smaller. You got to back up a little bit. Oh, back up a little bit? Yeah. Back on her. Back on her. Back on her. Got the back on her. You got the back on up. Back on up. All right. So, um, Tootie Toot is in the building. Y'all already know. Before we even get uh go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share, share this video. You dig what I'm saying? Eh. What the goddamn hell yeah <laughs> league? All right. So, uh, Carmen and Corey hence getting divorced. I already said that. Let's get it. Carmen and Corey, it looks like they're going through some things behind the scenes. Corey posted up, he said, as a man, stay focused. Don't let a woman be your downfall. We can be toxic sometimes, but it's up to you to change. If you know in your heart you change, but the woman still has insecure feelings and it's not working out, it's time to move on for the best of both of y'all. She can find someone that will heal her and you can find someone that will love you for the new you. It's life, understand that part. Somebody in the... Y'all, after you cheat, it's just kind of hard to go back to some, I mean, go back to the same person that not only cheated once, not only twice, probably threefold. Just cheated a lot. You know what? But this is the most educated thing I've ever heard him say. No, 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 no. Like for real. Like this is like honestly I agree. speaking. No matter how you want to slice it, what he has said is correct to the T. You know what I mean? And this is something that I always speak on. Sometimes, you know what I mean? When you're in relationships, you go through the most or whatever, and now you become this new and improved person, and you become this person that you should have been mm. to the old person. You know what I'm saying? And now you this brand new you to right. this new person. And it sucks so bad sometimes because the old person deserved it. Mm. But they didn't stand the test of time because they didn't have any patience to wait. And they should not have to. You right. know what I mean? But what he's saying is, is for real. When you decide to stay with somebody, you can't keep saying or keep um, accusing them of certain things because it, it defeats the purpose. I agree. Can't keep forgiving them if, if you ain't going to trust them. Definitely can't keep forgiving them. You know what I'm saying? I agree with that, too. Yeah. I'm just saying with this situation, like, she definitely got to take some fault in herself. Definitely. That's what I'm saying. Most and, definitely. And, you know, a lot of people hate when they feel like I'm taking up for the dude more. But, I mean, you, what what are you going to take? What responsibility are you going to take on this? You know what I'm saying? Hold on. I feel like something. Say something. Something. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. It's acting like that don't want to work. What is the issue? Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I don't be editing this shit. Um, that's that right there. So what's the problem? What's what's wrong with you? What's going on? What you can do? S say something now. Something now. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. You just going to have to talk with my mic. But, um... Yeah, she gonna have to take some type of responsibility for this entire situation. You know what? And he also got to take some responsibility at the end of the day. Because, like, you know, it'd be one thing if he just cheated on her once. Nigga, you cheated on her multiple times. So she has multiple insecurities. So you either deal with it yourself, and you can't get mad that she still have these feelings. I mean, my nigga, it'd be different if you only did it once. You didn't did it multiple times. Yeah. So it's only a, it's only a matter, you know. She, come on, nigga, you just you gotta understand, Shawty. She you was just about to have a kid, wasn't he? Yeah. With somebody else, right? Oh no, that that is a whole nother. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, it was just accusations of that. So that means that you just cheated just as recently. If you got a baby on the way, so it's like the way she's feeling is 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 merited. I think the problem is. You know, we get mad because it's like, stop taking them back. You know what I'm saying? And then we look at him and we say, well, stop getting mad that uh, she she can't trust you. I mean, but it, is that not the truth? How are you getting upset that she can't trust you, but Straight you up. are the one that put on her the, to not be able to be trusted? Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's toxic. Leave. Sick of it. Completely. God. Completely. 
the comment said please don't tell me you are talking about you and Carmen if it is please know y'all will get through this we need y'all CC gang for life and he said no and, and then it be the comments I hate <laughs> I hate people that feel like they need another couple just to live you, you can take them off I'll take them off it, it's a lot of people that be like no y'all can't break up we need y'all no the fuck y'all don't no stop idolizing these damn relationships can't do that I'm sick of that. I'm not even going to lie. Idolizing the relationships is getting real old for me. Uh, I can't stand it. Yeah. Even though he said he wasn't talking about him and Carmen, Carmen actually responded to him. She said, I want to be a wholehearted bitch sometimes and just don't give a fuck about no reaction, no feeling, no nothing. I would never be no... I know what y'all doing. It's almost October. Mm -hmm. Body's down for because I was the one who picked you up every time you fell. Every you know time you made dumb shit? decisions when somebody else believed in you, I was the one believing and supporting. I don't understand how people expect me to trust and believe them after so many downfalls. Time for y'all to stop looking at ass and stop looking at a body. Like, bro, find somebody that really genuinely make you happy, bro. Like, a lot of women got ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop looking for looks bro look for character like that's why a lot of y'all are in an unhappy relationship because y'all looking at y'all too busy focused on how good a person look instead of like what that person brings to the table like did that person make you happy did that, did that person make you like bring that spark outside of you look for the person that make you happy not how the person look i mean of course that, that matter too but they find and they don't bring to the table and make you happy they don't count. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree with that 100% yeah. too. Um, them looks ain't holding no weight. Man, and looks ain't, everywhere. Looks ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's so hard. When you're talking about being with somebody for forever, it got to be something other than looks that's going to hold you. And that's no cap. You know what I'm saying? If I can't talk to you and have a, a logical conversation and you do something to intrigue me, then we ain't going to work. That's a fact. Because I had enough booty for the both of us. That's a fact. <laughs> Like, I ain't even that's a to fact. You. So that's like the least of my problems. Like, I, that's that's not something that would ever hold me or ever hold my attention. But I do like somebody that's going to be able to challenge me, you know what I'm saying, and push me to be something other right. than, you know, what I am, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's a, that's a given. For sure. Shut up. Is it me or does it feel like Corey is talking to himself? Because he keeps saying he's not talking about him and Carmen, but Carmen obviously felt some type of way about what he was saying and responded. It sounds like a serious situation happened behind the scenes and he's kind of talking about it without talking about it. Like he's being subliminal about it. Boy, them chains real as hell. <laughs> but <laughs> Carmen is like, nah, fuck the subliminal. This is what it is. So this is not even about Corey and Carmen. This is just in general. This is for male and female. Do what makes you happy. Fact. Whether you're in a relationship or not. Do what makes you happy. Do not surround your whole entire life around somebody trying to make them happy. Because trying to make them happy will probably make them happy, but it won't make you happy. Even though I've been saying this many a times. It won't even make them happy. Fact. A lot of times people try and find themselves trying to make somebody else happy. And that's when you make yourself sad the most. Yeah. I feel like, I, I know I've tried it before. Like, I'm just trying to make you happy, but nothing is working. What do you want from me? And then, you know, it's also kind of like real lame because a lot of YouTube couples feel like they have to stay together, mm -hmm. especially people that's big like Carmen and Corey, you know what I mean? And uh, De'Ara and Ken because they brand is behind it. So sometimes, man, they'll they'll, <laughs> they'll play the fool just because that bag is hitting nice. Because I'm looking at this nigga, his face, his neck, and stuff like that is pretty damn chill. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of things he's going to put up with more, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, living his truth. Like, he probably know in his heart that he don't really want to be with Carmen anymore, but when he think about the backlash he's going to receive from people, you know what I'm saying? How that bag is going to change. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at King. I mean, not trying to be funny, but like his 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 numbers have successfully changed from Neek to, to, to Lena. You know what I'm saying? So you successfully as in it, that his numbers getting back. Better, his right? number his numbers is like, no, they're 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 different. OK, so I would agree with you. Yeah. However, his his numbers are getting back to 120 K fucking 200 K per video on their actual couples channel. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, I think that that was a good goddamn move. However, you will always take a pay cut when you lose the woman. Fact. Or when the woman lose you or whatever. The women never lose. That's why De'Ara is winning. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's also the way you do it too. 
Yeah. Deara and Ken did that shit. They did. And I think it was Deara's yeah. idea, to be they honest did. with you. But they did that shit. They she did. she did not play him. He didn't play her publicly against each other. They they dealt with what had happened, took that shit like a G and, and still moved. moved on and is still making the bad Period. He's making the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. It's for real. That was like one of the dopest uh breakups I've seen in a while. Seriously, uh, it it was a really dope breakup. <laughs> if you' supposed to say that, now right, you that shit I mean? was epic. <laughs> that shit had the sauce, if that makes any sense. It did. Okay. Many of videos. Look at Neek and King situation. Neek said, "I did this more. I tried to do this more. I tried to do this. I did this. I did this, and it still wasn't enough." King went on the video with a whole nother girl and said, "Where he was like, he basically thought he was in love in his in his past, like, like the relationship with me." But he wasn't. You know, me being me, no fake, like off camera, on camera, you know how I get down. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. I feel like everything with you is just different. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Don't say you No, I'm about to say, I say that shit because I say that shit because before I say what I say, it's just me as a nervous person. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was in, like, like my, you know what I'm saying? I trying to say it like that, my last pre last relationship, like, I thought I was in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. Like, I ain't throwing no salt and I ain't throwing no shade. Ooh. I have something to say, but I want this fucking ad to get the fuck. Ooh. I feel as though you could be with a person and feel like you are in love, but get with another person and realize that's the love that you was missing for real. I totally agree 100%. Like, for real, I mean, it's messed up as it may seem because it, it's only, it only seems terrible in his case because we all watched him and Neek. You know what I'm saying? So in our eyes, momentarily, it's like, oh, my God, it was a couple that could not do no wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But what he's saying, people cannot get mad at him for saying that because, bro, like, you do think sometimes you are in love with a person until you get in a relationship and you like, oh, my God, I'm really in love. This is what love is. This, I promise you. So it's no, it's, he didn't mean it. No slander. <laughs> right. He didn't mean it. And, and let's act like, that's, let's not act like somebody can't show you something different. Yes. You know, show you something different. You be like, damn, it may be. You was in, heavily in love with that person. But when somebody show you like the the the, the way yeah. of life yeah. almost, yeah. like, damn, this just feel better. It feel good. You know, you, you, the way you it feels to you. And I don't think he's wrong for that. I don't think he's wrong at all. And, I mean, you you seen the videos. Uh, he looks mad, cheesy, beasy. I mean, he just do, you know. And it's no, it's no disrespect to Neek neither because it just means that she has not yet met her one. And, and, and that's all it boils down to it. I mean, he didn't mean to probably take shots. And I know because of the simple fact that they share a kid to, with each other, you know, it probably just made it seem like he really didn't care. And that's not what he was saying. He just basically saying, look, I love Neek. You know what I'm saying? There was a period of time that we shared that I felt like, you know, was the best. But what I'm saying, in, in lieu of how I feel now, you know, the feelings that I got for my woman now, they just don't compare. And there's nothing wrong with the way what he's saying. There's nothing wrong at all with that. And, and that don't mean Neek did anything wrong either. Not at all. She loved him to the best of her ability. Exactly. And through the love that he was giving her. Now, if she found a man that loved her to his highest capacity, which could bring out a different capacity from her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's just the way you look at it. Yeah. Good, because if you experience life just a little bit, you kind of understand where the person is coming from and there's no nice way of saying it. So mm -hmm. that's why you shouldn't say it publicly. But I understood where he was coming from. Mm -hmm. You can be with somebody, have love for somebody, care for somebody, but not be happy. That is possible that is a possible feeling and if you feel like that do not continue to try to keep making something work that's just not working because you will spend your whole life trying to be with that person when you what you think that person wants and never be what that person needs <laughs> now i said it best he said i'll be the first man to admit that a fat ass caught my attention but never made me faithful and pretty face got me to commit but never changed me it was the funny girl with the beautiful personality million dollar smile and a heart of gold that left me in tears begging for a second I never viewed women the same after her. She left my heart convinced that love is more about chemistry than biology. You better preach. He a Virgo. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my boy Nas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boy, he wise. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Knowledge with the is, college. Though. Knowledge with the though. college. He is, though. He said that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people got to realize it's also on <clears throat> that person's time, too, of, of when they really will love you to their capacity. Listen, I did not want to get married before I met my wife. I never had any aspirations whatsoever to get married. You know what I'm saying? And they had a lot of different reasons. I didn't want to get married. You know what I'm saying? My faith, a lot of different reasons. But when I met Shamika, it totally made me look at things completely different. Prime example, look at Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She divorced her ex-husband because she did not want to have kids. She, she divorced want, them she because she did want not want to have kids. Mm-hmm. Came on a reel and was like, yo, I had to let him go because I didn't think it would be fair to stay with him knowing that I didn't want to have kids or whatever. So after they got divorced, she also said, not only do I not want to have kids, I don't want to get married. You know what I'm saying? She met Jeezy. They got married. She has a baby on the way. That just goes to show you that your one is your one. Like, however you think you may feel, you know what I'm saying, right now at the moment means nothing because, like, you might meet somebody next year and everything that you thought you didn't want, you won't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's some real shit. And, like, and intuition is a motherfucker. Facts. Like, I feel like internally she, her intuition was telling her not with him. <laughs> it was something she seen right like now, he ain't going to be a sis, good father. This ain't it. Yeah. And, yep. and this is just not it. And I'm glad that she made the decision she made. You know what I'm saying? Made it with a black man. I ain't shit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the realest thing a man could ever say. <laughs> Love is work, but it ain't hard work, especially if y'all working together. And this is why I say do what makes you happy because while you're doing what makes you happy, then you can offer up yourself and love somebody else. But if you're constantly trying to make that person happy and change who you are, trying to make that person happy, that's not love. If you can- I remember when uh, Damo said that she started to dress like a a dude because that's what Chrissy wanted. And she still wasn't happy. And it, it, cause you're not gonna be happy. That's why people get on my nerve sometimes when they wear mask and they become these people that they think that they significant other want them to be. Mm-hmm. Because eventually, you know what I mean. What's gonna happen is, you know, it's, it's human nature for you to be you. Right. So parts of you is gonna start trickling out, and if, and eventually, you know what I mean. You're gonna be mad. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and, and, and look at your significant other like, damn. You know what I'm saying. I didn't conform my whole life for you. You should have just loved me for me. And a lot of people don't want to, they don't want to do that. Right. I ain't doing none of that. Hell no, nah, I'm going to forever be me. I got to be me. Because I tried that before and it didn't work. And uh, at me the too. end of the day, it had me so uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like just being somebody walking on eggshells trying to be this person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? For this other man, hell no. Nah. And that's why I go with my, tu- my intuition so heavily today. I take my intuition very seriously yeah. today. Okay. And if it ain't right, it ain't right. It ain't you, right. you can't do what you can't, you know. Explain what love is. It ain't love. That love that you have for that person is, is it leaves you confused. Like, wow. I, I can't even tell you. I can't even gather up the words to tell you who this person is to me. I, I, I it's, it's her. Love is her. Love is him. <laughs> You know what I mean? Whatever it is that this person is doing, that's what love is. Because you can say, I love that this person got communication. I love this, this, that. Everybody got communication. Well, majority of everybody had. Nah, because comprehension is a 2021 thing. Hey, boy, you better freak. Comprehension is a 2021 thing. It's always been, but I think, you know, it's kind of shout out to, uh, hold on. You ready? Frank. You, I can't hear you. You ready? You ready? Christ, I can't hear you. <laughs> um, all the things that we've thought in the past, yeah, everything is coming to fruition now, and people can actually say what it is. Mm-hmm. God damn, I'm communicating with you, but you're not getting you're it. Not what getting is that it. called? Yeah, comprehension. You're mm-hmm. not comprehending of what I'm saying, which we still not communicate. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that's so crazy is that I can see right now that uh. Corey is going to, if he, if, if this does not work out between them, he's going to regret it. Absolutely. Because Carmen is such a good girl and, and her only downfall is that she loves and leads with her heart and not her mind. And that's going to be something that by experience will change. You know what I'm saying? And once she does figure out her worth, 
Um, yeah, he's gonna be a sad puppy. Sad. He, cause see, I'm telling you, what she's giving him, you know, a man would die for. It. And and Corey you ain't gonna have to realize that that money and all the gold in his mouth, none of that shit mean nothing. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? When you don't got a, a real one that had your back. You Facts. Know? And he has had a real one with, with, with Carmen. But, and put up with all your bullshit. Yeah, but you never know, though. You know, that might not be his one. She might not be. She might not be his one, no maybe, matter how we Maybe see he it. need one to cuss his ass out. Yeah, he need a couple mink And mink put him in his place. He need a couple mink minks. Girl, he need mink something. Mink. <laughs> had communication. But love is this person. Love is that person. I don't... I can't say it because that whatever it is that she does, that's what love is. If you don't feel like that, you're not in love. I try not to preach, but that's my message for today. Come on, Do pastor. what makes you happy, whether you're in a relationship or not. If going to the beach and sitting by the beach by yourself eating food make you happy, do it. If walking in the mall not buying nothing, just walking around makes you happy, do it. Do what makes you happy. I'm using Nick and King as an example of why you should do what makes you happy and not invest all of your life into somebody because eventually the things that you're doing is going to turn into resentment because you are wasting so much of your life trying to make that one person happy and not focusing on your happiness. And now you're blaming this person for every little thing that they do, everything that happens that's wrong, you're constantly blaming them. And that's what Carmen is doing. She's constantly blaming him. Oh, this, that, and it has nothing to do with Corey. It has everything to do with herself. Facts. She is not happy. You cannot try to change everything about you to make somebody happy because obviously, as you can see, it doesn't make them happy. And they're honestly dropping clues and red flags to let you know it wasn't that if you tried to do that that still didn't work if you're trying to do this it still ain't working stop trying to believe what you think and believe what this man is saying because he's right. telling you that ain't it i'm not saying they should break up i'm saying do what makes you happy that's how you find your happiness and that's how he finds his happiness in the midst of y'all finding your own separate happiness y'all find that y'all are not it then so be it stop trying to prove people wrong because everybody right. that you're trying to prove wrong they live in their life they right. have you do what makes you happy. And that's on period. I mean, that was it. Yo. She said that. Yo, in a nutshell. <laughs> like, for real, I was about to pass the offer. Uh, okay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for real, though, it's, and that's some real shit, though, that she's saying, though, because, like, you got these people, you got these young people, you know what I'm saying, that they have so much money at their disposal, you know what I'm saying, and they around here playing house when there's really no need. If you're not happy, then don't stay there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the money look good and everything, but in the actuality, None of that, that don't mean nothing if nothing. you don't have a peace of mind. That's you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they'll realize the peace of mind is the shit to have. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Because if you ain't got no peace of mind with all the money, you ain't going to be able to spend it right no way. You ain't. You ain't. You ain't going to be able to spend it right no way. Now, <laughs> now that we did the video, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. But in my previous video, I did a giveaway, which that is today. I'm actually picking this oh, cash app and I oh, couldn't catch everybody. If you're answering the question, make sure you add your cash app at the oh, end man. of your comment. Now, the question was, if you had the power to put a couple back together, which couple would it be? Hi. These are here by popular demand. Not now. Uh, uh, let me look. But the thing is, if you had to, so you got to pick Not one. Not now. Nigga, you can't do that. They ain't playing the game right. Not now. Listen, man. Now, not. One. All right, let me tell you. If I had to pick one. Kennedy and DDG. That's who I was going to pick, nigga. You stole mine. <laughs> How you going to say you didn't want to play the game? Because you don't then you gonna force steal me to mine. play. Damn, nigga, you got to unk come out and shit, nigga. You stole mine and shit. You, like, don't you God. don't force me to play. Yo, but for real, but none of them I don't think could make it. Except for, I mean, they, <laughs> no, they wouldn't been, make it. They either. wouldn't make it, but I'm just saying if they had an inkling of hope, it would be them the closest. Because the damn show won't be, uh, yeah, not damn show, not no trade. Not it. none of them. Right, yeah, none of them. You right. But I ain't gonna lie, uh, uh, Soul and Ashley, boy, I used to crack up. Absolutely. Oh, not. my God. He, the way he got on that disrespect to her, every, ch every chance he got. He different now, though. I know, but he I'm saying now. him then. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. Ain't that weird? Now, Ashley was another person who worshipped the ground he walked on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he couldn't be. Who he needed, who she needed him to be. Now he's a different man. Mm -hmm, because it wasn't, she, she couldn't wasn't bring it out of him. That's See it. what I'm saying? It's, That's it, it, it. Just, it's everybody goes through this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we fought in that man. He yeah. He's going to how you feel. I mean, shit. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all, man. Make sure y'all tune in to 
Shamika and Tamika TV for the reactions. You know what I'm saying? And Bella and Toot for the personal blog content. You dig? Yeah, dig. But we love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video.